Right now, fewer than 900 votes separate Republican challenger Jim Oberweiss from Representative Lauren Underwood in the 14th Congressional District. It's one of two key races for Congress in the western suburbs. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is following both of them for us. And Tim, let's start with that battle for the House seat in District 14. Brian, Jim Oberweiss had hoped to deliver a victory speech at this hotel last night. Here we are the next morning, and it's still too close to call. I just talked to Oberweiss. He tells me he's not ready for a victory speech or a concession speech, but he is cautiously optimistic. I did not get much sleep last night, I'll tell you that. Jim Oberweiss says his race with incumbent Lauren Underwood could come down to mail-in ballots that have not been counted yet. We asked Oberweiss what his schedule looks like today. Trying to uh, clean up uh, signs that are outstanding and uh, uh, Put together a plan to make sure that uh, uh, if there's a recount that it's done fairly that the ballots are protected that's something you might be expecting a recount who would I, you know I'll, we'll have to wait and see hi i'm jim oberweiss running for the u.s senate oberweiss is a state senator who owns the oberweiss dairy company he's endorsed by president trump the truth is that some leaders have refused to listen underwood won her seat in 2018 she served as a senior advisor to the department of health and human services under the obama administration we reached out to underwood's campaign for her thoughts in the tight race and we're waiting to hear back <laughs> another race in the western suburbs has already been decided Democrat Sean Caston will retain his House seat in the 6th District. I'm delighted to be back. we got a lot of work to do. I am so tremendously energized by, by how many people participated in our democracy yesterday. We also just got a statement from Caston's opponent, Jeannie Ives. She says her team fought hard, but in the end, the power of the opposition was too great. As for the race here in the 14th, we will keep an eye on that tally. Mail-in ballots can be counted for the next two weeks as long as they were postmarked by Election Day. Live in Aurora, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.